Who cares? I mean, honestly, guys, this story, I cannot believe everything going on in the world today, especially what we're going to be talking about in this video, that this story is is just flooding my inbox who cares but i mean it will probably help me out with views what's up everyone and welcome to your monday's edition of reptile news you know the world of youtube is very very funny in that there there's certain things that you want to do certain things that you don't want to do um like you don't want to ramble like i'm doing right now but um there's certain things that you do want to do like like i mean and this is only my opinion i'm just i'm just telling you guys this is my opinion um some of the things like telling people subscribe if you like what you see hit that bell notification blah blah yada yada blah 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 that i always forget to do so i think what i'm going to do i think i'm going to put a like a uh what are they called like a thing on the wall right here with that right above the the monitor here so i could see and remind myself to tell you guys what to do but anyway guys with that let's just jump into monday's news and you know go figure for just trying to jump back into this five day a week thing go figure that there wouldn't be a whole lot to talk about but we're going to start off today in nevada or maybe florida i'm not quite sure where to start this story out but a nevada man has been sentenced to 120 days of home confinement and fined seven thousand dollars for attempting to smuggle a galapagos tortoise um i <sighs> really why would you do that i just don't really know where to go with this thing and you know what today's show is like completely full of fail so we're going to breeze through the stories and then we're going to talk about each story so we're going to move on now to california where a california homeowner found a crocodile monitor in his yard um obviously people I, I don't think I need to tell you that crocodile monitors are not native to California. So this is presumably an escaped pet or a released pet in California. That's great. Um, now over to Western Virginia to SNS Reptiles and Exotics, where apparently animal control officials went in and seized a bunch of animals, saying that they they were malnourished, they weren't being taken care of, the cages weren't being cleaned. Now apparently this stems from some complaints that came from uh, the smell being admitted from this place. And animal control officials are saying that the store owners are being charged with cruelty. So now I want to go back and hit on a couple of these things. Uh, I, I guess we can, well, no, because I mean, they're all different. Okay, first of all, smuggling. Don't do it. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm glad that we don't hear about this stuff very much nowadays, but I just, I, I don't quite understand it. I mean, number, it just, no, don't do it. I Honestly, guys, I don't know what to say about this. Just don't do it. That that That's it, I guess. Um but anyway, let's move on to the, the California thing. So, so an escaped or released crocodile monitor in California. Now, I, I'm a little troubled that in this, day of a, in this day and age, everything that we've gone through in the past that we're still dealing with escaped or released pets. Now, now I understand that um, reptiles can be little escape artists. We all know that. We've all lost them. And I, I, I don't necessarily knock anybody for that but we just need to be 100 percent sure that that we're secure i mean we just we got to secure them guys we can't i mean too many more blows to this hobby and we're not going to have a hobby to to be able to defend or anything so now let's move on to west virginia a little bit i i i don't know it, it, it it's very hard to to talk about this story because I believe in innocent until proven guilty, but this store apparently opened in June, sold birds, scorpions, reptiles, yada, yada, blah, blah. And um, I, I, I just don't, I, we've heard about so many of these things in the past. We've talked about several of them and I, I just, I, I don't know. I, I, I guess the, I guess the best way, I guess the best way to put it is if they're found not guilty, then okay if they're found guilty then yeah but anyway guys like i said leave it to uh the powers that be to really not give me much of anything to talk about today other than those few short things which we've talking about so much before i just don't know what else we could say about them if you want to uh, learn more about all these different topics here we talked about you can just look back through all the other videos and get any 
sort of opinion that you might want. And that, my friends, is all your news for this Monday. If you'd like to read any more about these stories, those links are right down below here in the description. And as always, if you're still watching, my name is Jason White. Now you know what's going on in the reptile world. Be good to each other, and we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>